While I've done videos demonstrating AO91 and AO92 low earth orbiting FM satellites, did you know that there are also SSB satellites? They have linear translators, so you can fit several contacts within the up and down link pass bands. Examples of SSB capable satellites are CAS4A and CAS4B, launched in 2017. Details of them are on the UK AMSAT website. Most important for me was the frequency of the CW telemetry beacon. 145.855 for CAS4A. If I can't hear that, then there's no way I would be able to have contacts through the satellite. Having got the frequency of the CW beacon, the next step was to jump on to the AMSAT site where I could get the pastimes. As it happens, there is a satellite passing right now, so no time to go portable. All I'm using is my home station 2 meter antenna. What you'll hear next is what I heard from the satellite. First of all the CW beacon, and then tuning a bit up to hear SSB. Well, that was encouraging. At home, the CW beacon was plainly audible, and SSB communication could be heard, though not as readable as desirable. Fortunately, there is another pass just over an hour later. So here I am at the Oval to see how well I can receive it this time, with less noise and a better antenna. The pass starts eight past six. See if we can get some SSB. I've also brought along this FM handheld and set it to 435.220. As well, I set the channel steps to the smallest range possible, 2.5 kilohertz increments. If I get a good signal from the satellite, then I'll try sending some CW with the push to talk and see if the satellite is sensitive enough to hear my signal. Though no SSB signals were heard, the signal coming from the satellite was definitely much stronger with this antenna and superior location. 
Also, as a bonus, just one or two watts from this handheld on CW was enough to get a signal to come back from it.